For years, there was eligibility criteria for donating blood that was based on sexual orientation. Bottom line, most gay and bisexual men were not allowed to donate at all. However, the federal government has reworked donor screening criteria, and that opened the door for more Americans to donate, including one of my next guests, Mark Dice Ryan, and I'm also joined by Kirsten Alcorn, the co-chief medical officer of Blood Works Northwest. Thank you both for being here. Good morning. Thank you. You know, I was always so amazed because there's always a need for blood, right? That there were this criteria that seemed archaic in so many ways. So I want to start with you. What were the new changes that were made and what can we expect to see as they become available? Yeah, we're so excited that we've moved away from the question being based on men who have sex with men and even their female sex partners to an individual risk assessment, which asks specifically about high risk behaviors. Yeah. And I, I, I know for a fact that you test every single drop of blood that comes through the center. Um, at one point, I had to be tested for a variety of things because we have to make sure that everything is perfect. And that's what you do. So how did we get here? Well, testing has matured over the years. So early in the HIV era, our tests, first of all, didn't exist. And then when they came into existence, they were nowhere near as good as they are now. Mm -hmm. So now we can detect an HIV infection within weeks to months of infection. And um, so we depend on both the donor history questionnaire where we ask these kinds of risk questions and the testing. Mm -hmm. And they work in conjunction they with work each in other. Conjunction. So Mark, you're about to give blood for the very first time. I am. How did it feel to make that appointment? Oh my God, couldn't have happened at a better time. Really? Thanksgiving, <laughs> grateful, well, you know, yes. super grateful, super thankful. Uh, I have an appointment at 12.30 p.m. on December 6th and can't wait. So 1985 is when this all started, Right. Uh, which is when I graduated from high school. Uh, yeah. So it's been decades yeah. since I've been sitting on the bench. Yeah. So for me to be able to come forth and do the most selfless thing uh, and most unconditional loving thing mm -hmm. in uh, giving blood and saving lives. I'm really excited about That's it. so true. Why is it so important to you? Well, you know, it's, um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but it takes a thousand, 1,000 blood donors every day in our region from uh, Eugene, Oregon to Bellingham, Washington, serving about 90 to 95% of the hospitals in there. So when I step up, uh, you know, as a gay man, uh, I also know that there's thousands of others that are going to step up with me. And uh, so to know that it's going to take me one hour to give one pint to save one life, and some will even say it can save three lives, wow. is, is, uh, is, it makes my heart fall. It's, it's beautiful because it truly, it's, how many babies does it save? It saves like three babies, one human, Absolutely. every time someone donates something like that. Oh my gosh, so many products and, and patients. And this is something that, you know, cannot be made. You have to give as a human being. You have to be the one to give this. And that giving heart is so important. Important, um, Dr. Alcorn. I, what are some of the things or the the new questions donors will notice when they come in? We've all I've filled out the questionnaire before. What are some of the questions that we'll notice? Some of the older questions are going away. So, for example, that question about men having sex with men is going to go away. And there'll be two new questions. One will ask if you've had a new sex partner in the last three months or multiple sex partners in the last three months. And the, the questionnaire will proceed from there. So what do you do with that question? That's when, when you kind of start to use the algorithm for testing mm -hmm. and all those things, right? Well, the testing is going to be the same. So if the answer to that is yes, there are follow-up questions. And depending on how all of that plays out for each donor, they would either proceed to donate or not donate. Got it. So what do we need to know about eligibility? And this is all happening December 6th, right? Well, most healthy adults are actually eligible to donate blood, but only a few percent do. Mm -hmm. So if we could increase it, like Mark said, even just by just a small percentage, we would see a much more stable blood supply. Yeah. And so for each individual person though, they should really go online at the website for Bloodworks to identify anything specific to their own history mm -hmm. or something they may have a question about. There are a lot of questions and they all relate to safety for both the donor and the person who would receive their blood. Amazing. Before I let you go, can I ask you, just the last question is, how significant is this change for both of you? Well, I mean, uh, none of us know when we might need blood. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I could get hit by a car on the way out of here. Uh, somebody in my family could end up with a blood disease, cancer, whatever it might be. 
So um, for me to pay it forward and taking an hour of my time to get a little tiny pinch, yeah. I, it's probably, it probably hurts more to stub my toe than, <laughs> than to give blood. Um, it's really awesome. And uh, the LGBTQ plus community should feel very proud, stand up, go make an appointment today. Yeah. Uh, because it, it, it really does fill the heart. I'm, I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, I think hearing from people in our community, that's really it. Is that any, there are a lot of people who want to donate and experience this heart full of donation. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's really lovely to be able to turn the tables into something that's based on a person's individual risk rather than by which group they're in. So well said. Thank you so much for both of you being here. Eat a big breakfast before you go. Yes, I can't wait for the cookies. I wish I could buy you breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> and then they got the cookies and the, they have chips. They had Doritos. Yeah. Oh, boy. I know I love can't a Dorito. Wait. All right. If you would like to make an appointment to donate blood, do the right thing and get a bag of Doritos, please visit the website on your screen um, because there's so much good being done at Bloodworks every day. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Bloodworks Northwest.